Okay, uh, next part is I'm going to have to uh, work on the Teto, the little uh, fox squirrel. And it looks like I'll need to uh, uh, fill in some seams with putty. See that's how I've puttied it. <laughs> Look at this putty. It crapped out the other the back end. So oh well, good thing I have another tube. Um I have, it's getting old anyways. So anyhow, um this is uh, ready for priming and once it's dry and then I'm gonna start working on this thing again. I haven't been building any models since I finished the uh the Honda Fit. And um, now it's the end of November, so it's been like almost two months. I haven't really touched any models because I've been busy with video games and doing other videos and crap. So anyhow, um, I will start working on this. Okay, Teto has been primed and he's ready for painting. So if you look here, I've got the website up here. That's his colors. So it wouldn't be a total white, but what I'm going to do is kind of mix white with antique gold to give me like that the creamish color. Then his body will be antique gold with burnt sienna, the dark brown stripes, and his eyes will be well. This is the only green I have, dark forest green. I'll just mix it with a little bit of white to uh, make it lighter green color. No sense in buying a, a whole new bottle of paint. So that's the fluffy, creamy part is done. Okay, now this is with a uh, antique gold color. Nice, huh? And here's the brown stripes. Now the eyes are done. Next, I need to work on Nausicaa's eyes and then uh, do a clear coat. Okay, I got this with a Gundam marker, and uh, it's about as close as I want to get with her eyes. I don't want to put try uh, too much detail because it's really small. Um, I'll just uh, risk screwing up the face, and I have to repaint it again. So this uh, this looks good enough. Now this is something that I made, Flat Future. As you can see, there's like um, it's kind of separated. If I could shake it out, there we go. It's a little bit better. I'll have to stir it up to make it, uh, uh, you know, so it's blended better. Anyhow, flat future is future floor polish, about 12 parts future floor polish, and one part Tamiya flat base. And uh, that's how I came up with my flat future. Um, just have an extra bottle and filled it up. So um, I tested it out on a little spare piece of plastic, and it worked just fine. Uh, the reason why I don't want to use um, like a, a lacquer-based flat coat is because I'm kind of scared of screwing up the, the paint job. So now that the paints all finished. I'll just give it a day or so and then uh, start working on the flat future. Okay.
there. This just kind of just rests on the pegs rest on the little base in there. Let's get this situated better. Get the stringy stuff out of the way. There. Yeah. Okay. Cool. More glue. Gotta be liberal with the glue here. There. And maybe I'll stick some along in the inside here too. Complete. Just let this uh, glue uh, dry for a while. Maybe I should fill in some cracks here too. Okay, I'm just going to hold this until it kind of dries. Next phase will be to put the legs on. I won't be too concerned with making this really pretty because um, it's just going to be on the other side anyway. So. Just dip each in glue and stick it in the holes. Okay, I finished with all the creepy legs. Looks like there's one extra one, in case I lost one. Neat, huh? Okay, it's uh, December uh, 10th or 11th, I can't remember which. Um, days are getting short, so I'm running out of daylight. But I'm going to use my airbrush. I haven't used it in quite a while. Just going to mix up the flat future. And then use a dropper to put it into the, the airbrush. And uh, this shouldn't take long. One thing I'm going to use, didn't you have this before, but I have a pressure regulator on my airbrush compressor, finally. I didn't have that before when I was working on the Honda Fit, and it would have probably made the job a lot easier.
Okay, um, just have to wait for this to dry. Okay, so it's been about a half hour afterwards. Um, it's not quite totally flat, but it's maybe just kind of a little bit semi-gloss, but you know, that's okay. I don't mind, really. Here's Nausicaa. So, it's actually not bad. I, um, I guess what, I, what you, I could do is add a little bit more of a flat base. No, what the heck? Sorry, somebody is shouting outside. What I could do is add some more flat base to the mixture, but um, the reason why I didn't want to do too much at first is uh, because you have the risk of making it cloudy, and I didn't want to do that. So, anyhow, um, this is kind of nice. It's kind of semi-gloss, and uh, I think it works just fine, so I'm going to keep it the way it is.